Hello everyone, it's Lee from Tilly Germs. Welcome back to my channel and to a massive haul video. As you can see, I have loads and loads of bits and pieces. We've got Planner Face, we've got um, One Ton in a Million, Sadie's Stickers, Planner Choco, Alicia Crafts, some Planner Hammer, some Crest Press, Scribble Prints Co, Rhymer Made, um, da -da 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 -da, Strawberry Lamb Designs, Creating and Co, uh, Rose Colored Days, um, the one that's really disney fight and I can't think of the name of right this moment in time, I'm sure it'll come back to me, but yeah, her. And then we have um, Mysteries from Strawberry Lamb Designs, Planner Face, and Oh Hello Feelings Co. So, without any further ado, let's get straight into it. So, we're gonna start off with some of my co more common shops and then we'll go on to less common ones. So let's start with Scribble Prince Co, who we have this sack from yeah um you may have heard me you can see foil there and you may have heard me say before that i wasn't going to buy foil from sprovinsk anymore and um, basically i can't get lavender Ho hollow in the uk to foil myself i don't know what this possible in the us but um you can't in the uk so it is what it is and i have to tolerate that so we have foil we have kits and we have freebies so let's start on the freebies this is a few orders as you can tell but yeah so we have these um Andrea Times uh, Once More With Love little munchkins in rose foil. We have this silver foil sampler script. We have these rose um, quotes. Another rose quote there. Some gold weekend banners. Um, we have a sampler there. Uh, we got a sparkly hollow script sampler. Sorry, I'm trying to sort of vaguely sort things because it's going to take three years to put away, I think. Um, we have a hollow sampler there, a um, gold, then another light gold little dividers thing, a hollow um, hollow sampler, sparkly hollow munchkin sampler, hollow Christmassy one, and a silver quote that one as well. Then the German cards we got were this Mario one, this Pokemon one, and this um this kindish just art, I can't remember what it's called, blossoming one. So that's there. Moving on to Scribble Prince Co. Kits. I think all of these are pop mystery slash exclusives because that's all I'm really buying from Scribble Prince Co. at the moment. And um, so we're starting with this one, which is Wicked for the film coming out. So we have these four boxes here. You've just got um, a load of different shapes as the deco because there wasn't really any deco for this because it's so person heavy. You've got your glitter and your extra boxes, your boxes page, your little things, your pattern and your solids followed by your bottom washi page. And then I also bought um, both of the Wicked character samplers. So you've got Glinda and you've got um, Elphaba. And then I also bought the green colour add-on and then this was the freebie with the kit which is just for some quotes so we're really really excited for that I think it'll be a really beautiful spread and I will almost certainly use it for the week where Wicked is released which I actually don't know when it is which is the 22nd of November so we'll do that next we have the Burrow which is a Weasley based Burrow based um Harry Potter kit so yeah um just to prefaces I don't support JK Rowling I would not do anything that gave her money but obviously this does not give her money and I'm not promoting Harry Potter got friend George there you can see the beautiful colors very autumnal this will be great September the 1st kit I don't think I'm going to use it this year but I probably will use it next year for September the 1st and we got the toolbox as the freebie of the burrow and then that's your bottom washi there super super pretty and very very me so that's those two and then last but not least we have the 10 year anniversary and this is like a disney sleepover party with like um the characters so we've got um rapunzel we have oh my god the girl from tiana thank you brain and um, we've got cakes here um she's got crown on and stuff um, and then the double boxes and then these are all disney names um, so we've got the deco there, we've got Aurora boxes, littles, patterns and solids and then washi when I can turn the page. There we go. And then we have some extra bits. So we have the icon and the, the extra colour there. And then we have some more different characters. So we've got Belle and Moana and then 
I think this is just an extra person that's not meant to be anybody. I'll probably use this one if I or whoever's birthday I use it for. I'll use the one that looks most like them. So that is my three Scrubble Prince Co. kits. So then moving on to foil, the first bit did come with this little bundle and extra sheets. So we've got a lavender hollow quote sampler, like birthday quotey sampler, and a princess sampler as well big princess energy sleepover so they obviously like match the kit and then we have this shimmer foil bundle so you have two pages of your boxes two pages of your um bougie script and icon and a washi page so that is super cute obsessed love it i'm here for it so that goes with that kit and then we have some foil bundles I just picked up. So I generally pick these up in foils I can't do or get. I'm gonna go over the other lavender hollow ones first whilst I have the lighting set up like this. So the first one is this um, daisy one. So you've got your full boxes, your bo uh, underlays, script and icon. And this is the new format with uh, hole dividers, hole protectors in, that's the washi page. Then I got confetti. Basically I got one of everything she had in the shop in lavender hollow. Um, bougie old script sampler and old bottom washi sheet then we have the groovy um so you've got the full boxes bottom washi script and this is still an older washi sheet there we got a uh, shimmer which is the same as this one um if i realized i had that one i probably wouldn't have bought another shimmer but i did so that is just identical and then there is this like y2k one as well which again is an older one so has older format pages so that is all of the lavender hollow and then this here is our last foil bundle in lemongrass it is the daisy one again and i just love this foil color and i can't get anything like it so i just really wanted it to use for that and i think it is absolutely stunning so yeah that is our foil slash other stuff from <laughs> scribble prince co moving on we will go to my next most purchase shop which is planner face there are some chunky orders here absolutely stunning so um i will show you this first because it's the only non-planner thing but this is her anniversary i won't say eight, eight anniversary um sticker album it's big enough to fit kits and this kits are big compared to other people's so um yeah it fits everybody's kits in absolutely gorgeous this is going to be a kit lineup album probably for my main planner and then the one i use for my main planner at the moment is going to become my kit lineup for my off-camera planner so yeah that's the plan for that and then we've got this little thank you card here which we will yeah and then we have a lot of freebies so this whole little section is all freebies so without any further ado let's get into it i was in the first however many orders so we got these um anna fave doodles and these are taylor swift inspired in that each one has a um color for each album i think we, i think that's what's going on and i needed some day of the week trips so i'm really glad we got those so you've got movie time splodges you got some torn paper, paint swatches, and florals. So I love that she's like done her own little sample pack um, of things like we love. Yeah, I just think that's really, really cute. Then next up in the freebies pile is a PR freebie, a GPR for planner face. So you can use Tilly and you'll get a freebie as well when you, you when you use my code. Um, and also there are six and we're onto the autumn ones now so check out instagram or facebook for the correct up-to-date ones but i like to collect all of them and then we have the eighth anniversary general freebies so let's start with the all orders freebie so for all orders you got this eighth anniversary freebie there then i think for orders over 20 30 pounds you got the journaling kit which this is a two-page journaling kit from plan base this is how they look but that is there then next up for 50 pounds you got the 
mini kit so each full box in this is unique there are no two full boxes the same there might be alternate skin tones and hair colors but there are no two boxes the same but that's there then you get your deco and icons with the kit and then we have the full box for a hundred the full kit for a hundred so as you can see i spent quite a lot here <laughs> so here are your full kit this is the same full kit format as all of the kits i'll go over it in another one but yeah so that's there then you get the freebie for alternate skin tones you've got your um what do you call this icon and deco and then 125 pounds you got the box add-on now if you mentioned the code word in the newsletter you got this extra freebie and then if you spent 150 pounds you got this foil bundle in silver so absolutely stunning as you can see so uh, Anna's format is similar to Scrub Prince Co except she fits more on a page and her pages are bigger so you get as well as you know, the same bits you get on the Scrub Prince Co page you also get your tinies on here this means she can do a five page kit and keeps things a bit cheaper and um, so you've got your bougie and then you've got this line of icons and you've got two of each of those and then you get your bottom washi your script and icon and it's stunning obsessed with her foil windows but that's there um so yeah that's it for the freebies and that is literally just the freebies from manaface like how ridiculous is that okay so then let's move on to other non kits from planner face well they're generally kits but you know what i mean so script wise we have self-care therapy babysit meltdown in my feelings and days of the week i told you i needed days of the week so yeah they're my little scripts I am mostly just now moving to black scripts and foil bundle scripts as a general rule and I just feel like it works better for me. Then um, we have some journaling kits so we start off with dopamine decor which is her uh, eight year anniversary kit and um, so this is the deco and stuff and then we have the um, box page I don't know what else to call that. Then we have perfectly imperfect um, which is this gorgeous like self-love kit and i adore it super super cute then we have poolside beautiful summary lovely lovely art as you can see i also have that in a full kit there love that shine bright which is a pride kit obviously it's a bit late for using it for june because of how long it's taken me to haul this but what ifs and then we have artsy as well which is um again like art <laughs> art art um so yeah got all of those journaling kits super excited to get some of those used and next we have our little pile of kits juicy juicy so starting off we have cool side which i really love um i think it's nice and bright and colorful i'm just wondering whether I use water park for something for a kit rather than poolside but I'll see if it works so this is Anna's kit format so she has eight foot boxes and these three heart checklists you then have little things two third boxes and a slightly larger than quarter quarter box you get some glitter headers included in the kit I believe it's four of each then you get um Monday through Sunday on both of the uh, bottom washi and date covers they're the words and some washi strips you get two extra full boxes monday through sunday flags habit trackers checklists and some extra boxes there you have your boxes page checklists with another th two third boxes and some appointment labels and some flags up at the top then anna always includes skin tones and hair colors so that's what that is then as part of the kit you also get this which is the deco and icon then i always buy the 15 millimeter add-on and the box add-on basically because i need more little things and that's the best way to do it so that is poolside and that is kinish jess art this one is coffee doodles art i believe and this is water park so yeah we have different water parky bits there as you can see it's super cute not going to linger too much on the rest of the kits because otherwise this haul will be three years long and nobody needs that for a haul um i don't really want to go over an hour but we'll see what happens we've got the 15 millimeter washi and the box add-on there as well next up we have kitnish jess art of italia so this is obviously an italy based kit this is part of her travel series which i am like gonna collect all of 
for when I visit different countries because it'd be really nice to have them and I feel like I don't have very many traveling kits at the moment so you've got your alternate skin tones hair colors see what I mean Anna is really generous with skin tones hair colors and she's also increased the formula one box in case you wanted to use it for that you've got your deco and icons I also buy the 15 millimeter washi add-on and the box add-on as you can see there so that's Italia um, there then we have a couple more kits I think three maybe so next up we have a dopamine decor so this was her eight year anniversary art and I love it so basically it's designed on dopamine decor so like lots of pictures and bright colors and everything in the house and oh I just I'm obsessed so yeah same format as all of the others love it here for it etc then we have the um deco alternate skin tones and hair colour and this is Tallulah and Enzo making a little appearance then we've got the 15 millimeter add-on how good would this look with the um what do calls it that matches this the 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 the, the underlays that I have that are similar to that then you've got your box add-on and then I also bought the extra colour and Anna is like this is a great extra colour there's so much you could definitely make two days purple with this and I love that um because I probably will I'll probably remove the pink I might keep one day of pink oh, I don't know we'll see we'll see how I feel when I use the kit but yeah that is a dopamine decor and honestly one of my favorite anniversary kits then last but not least we have two more kits first up we have perfectly imperfect I said I love this art before um but I love it even more like look the Teligo plus size people it's just yes little quotes to yourself to remember that you are beautiful no matter what it's just chef's kiss obsessed um there so here are our boxes then we have alternate skin tones and hair colors We've got the deco and icon 15 millimeter and the box add-on and that is it for perfectly imperfect last kit from planner face um, and the last bit of our planner face section is we have sea view which i'm actually using this in july or august i can't remember which but here are your full boxes i'm not even going to go over what the pages are but this is just a lovely lovely like well it's exactly it's a, a seaside kit that is like nice and chill and i've even because i've then um, pulled it out i've pulled in freebies uh, icons and stuff to match it but yeah it's really lovely i really like this um, and i believe this is milk and berries art again okay and then the last shop i regularly purchase from is um, no there's two more actually we've got rhyme Mead. so she's got these gorgeous gorgeous freebies and um, so this is the first one so you get a little die cut sticker that is just stuck on there with a glue dot so you can just take that off and use it and then it's got a little take a breath unclench your jaw and relax your shoulders i want everybody watching this video to do that and then see what you want so there's a note to sell her so if i use whatever code is under there i will get a free die cut so i just think that's a really cute idea like you get different things depending on what you um like depending yeah so i did get a load of die cuts i know i haven't shown her other freebie which i love too but it's this little every time you buy from us we'll recommend three other shops that we'll love so i am going to check out those shops there then I got one um, bullet journal kit and a little pile of die cuts. So the journal kit I got was feeling fruity. It's fruit, which I believe I am using in August. So this is her format of like bullet journal kit, but you can just get to the two pages to um, be a normal journal kit. So these two pages do just make a normal journal kit. So I just love that as a concept and that's there and then I did get a load of die cuts as well so I got I Matter, My Best Is Enough, Feminist Killjoy, No Worries I said filled with worries and then because Soph is my bestie she sent me this I Heart My Long Distance Bestie and I heart my long distance bestie too. Love you Soph because you're almost definitely watching this so that's there. Um, and then the other shop I kind of quite regularly buy from is creating a co and we do have this little stack here so we have this journal card um, with a thank you on the back this other journaling card there um, and then our last journaling card is here so three different journaling cards a lot of her stickers are book themed etc etc but yes 
Again, we have a scratch off for a coupon um, here. So these were freebies from, I don't know, but yeah, some just cute freebies there. Then over the 25 pound freebie is this borrowed book tracker. So say she does lots and lots of, um, what Jimmy calls it, book themed things. So that's there. Um, we'll carry on with the uh, whole page stickers. So we have our April, May, and June, July, August, and September wrap ups. So you've got a space to write your book titles on here, the number of book, number of pages, number of hours listened to, fave and least fave book, and then your most read genre. And then I have the spring, uh, I have very spring and summer things here. So um, we've got Achievement Unlocked for the um, spring colorway. Um, we've got the book bingo books and then this is the things you're going to do obviously it's spring 24 spring is over by the time I'm hauling this so I think what I am going to do is like set myself a time limit to work on these maybe do like two months per because we're in July so if we do all September or November December January then we can do all four still so probably something like that so that's there and then the spring reading challenge is here um, and the spring reading challenge was is um, things on the covers so there's different things to find on the covers so we've got gems lips um sun i think that's meant to be the sun a tree mountains and books and then you just have these various stickers to use with it as well super, super cute there so you can put the sticker over the book when you've you read it um, and then yeah just some extra bits and pieces then i got the fairy tale picnic um, read a thon. I may well use this, leave this till next year um, now because obviously the read a thon is over. I, um, yeah, I love creating good stickers, but by the time they get to me, it's kind of a bit late, really. Oh, and this was the third page of that. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, this is where you put the books you read and the rating. Then you can use these two either these can be on your planner or whatever and just the piece of deco to put on to that there and then i have a 2024 um battle of the books which i just love so you can decide which was your favorite book which is really exciting of the year super super cute i love that and then I accidentally, as I've said, bought an extra copy of the Spring Bingo. So don't really know what I'm going to do with that, but it is an extra. And then I have the Scoops of Books um, readathon. And this one only has two pages because the ice cream and stuff goes on here. It doesn't have a second page. And I actually prefer this format because it only uses one page of your planner. And the achievements are on there, which I love. And then I have the last three reading wrap-ups, which are December, November and October. So lots and lots of stickers book-ish stickers there and I'm looking forward to moving those across into my planner and then from creating and co I also did get a pile of die cuts so we have this spooky season in holly backing got the be the hero of your own story with a sparkly holly backing tales and tales book dragon I read past my bedtime the world belongs to those who read who needs Halloween I'm a witch all year read ladies write your own story and read in peace so yeah absolutely all but assist with those i think it's just a really nice little collection of things then i'm gonna go with another kit that i sometimes buy from shop home sometimes buy from and that is caress press so these are from a d stash so we have this little um, icon sheet which I probably won't keep because I probably don't have anything in that foil colour um, but that's fine and then we have a kit and a three page foil bundle so the three page foil bundle is um, like Halloween themed I don't know how well you can see that you can kind of yeah there we go that's the best way to show you that and it is in hollow foil um, so there and then your bottom washi and eye and stuff and then i love the bows with the that have the little bat in them that's so cute and then the script and icons obviously i will put that with some bougie when i use it and then i bought spooky magic um, i bought this in a d stash so it's glossy i actually think i might already have this art from squirrel hints co so there's that 
but this is an old format from Grass Press as well um, and in fact this person has the spooky magic um, doodle samplers from Squirrel Prince Go so if I do I'll keep those but I will de-stash the kit so that is just an old old Grass Press format there so that may well go in my de-stash pile myself but we'll see when we get to it and I'm going to keep those with it so that if I do have the kit I can put straight with it. Okay I think everything else is shops I very very rarely buy from. Oh no there was right I'm sure I have more stuff from Strawberry Lime Designs but I have these two die cuts from Strawberry Lime Designs um but I have these two die cuts as well um not 100% sure where they came from but they came from somewhere and I have them so yeah right um then we've got kit shops I don't really buy from very much so I'm just gonna walk, work around so a lot of the rest of the things I have are from a bundle of like foil your own stuff so um I bought an indie stash so I'm probably not going to keep all of it but first up I have these like dinosaur bits from Alicia Craft um, and as you can see this one is partially used they're not all partially used but yeah I will probably keep that one I probably don't have this exact red but that's fine then we have this pirate one that's done in a matte bronze which I probably won't keep I don't think because it's foiled quite badly and I'm assuming that is the person who foiled it but yeah I probably won't keep that one that's fine so we've got the dinosaurs and that's it from Alicia Craft and we got a lot of um Planner Hannah and a lot of these are underlays and that's absolutely fine by me so we have these trick or treat we've got some quote full box overlays and the nice thing about these is you can take one off and then um you can take one off and then foil just that so yeah um, these are lots of quotes I think I sorted this into four boxes first generally and um, then we have the Sagittarius one which isn't me so they probably won't keep astrology and then we have Baywatch multi anchor earth we have seashell bottom washi I don't know whether this is um her plan or not but we have um ice creams there we've got map we've got um what are they called cactuses we've got self-love quotes self-love two sassy two we've got rose there um we've got saturn at times two we've got succulent tropic cherry blossom mandlers racing um floral zodiac zodiac cards there um some star headers then we have friends little section so we've got friends icons and underlays then we have these star night skies oops then we have eliza sanfran and then we have some more dinosaur stuff so we've got these jurassic park ones then we've got these ones from some sort of show i don't know what it is that's really bad that i don't care and mean princesses so yeah i don't know how these will foil i'll pro obviously test the foil settings and stuff with them as i do them but yeah lots that i can potentially just use to have in the foil color i want etc etc so that is the little planner hannah stack so what i'm probably going to do is i'm just going to put all of these in a folder and when i go to cut pick pick, pick kits foil and stuff I will put these under and um, other than the dinosaur stuff um because it's some of it's already foiled in red I would have to be using red foil so I will put that in my foil bundle storage then carrying on with the same thing we have this one sheet with from plan with me stickers and then this one foil sheet from okay plans which is actually quite similar to my own um foil but you know um, then again keeping with the same theme we have one sheet from happy sticker designs of bees so i've got this shop jessica hearts it's from maleficent um i don't know if i'll use it with the maleficent kit but yeah we've got that and then planning choco oh we've got this um oh the oh the, the you david quotes are from uh Pan of choco but pff, i don't know the reference so souls then we have these hole protectors in candy line boxes we have these bluey deco boxes mario line full box and mario deco full box so yeah as i say that little lot will all just go into a folder to be used as and when 
couple more pet shops to go. We have one ton in a million. We have the Harry Potter style um, journaling cards. So you've got Sorcerer's Bun, Steamer of Secrets, Prisoner of Azkaban, Steamer of the Fire, Order of the Phoenix Claw, Half Bow Prince, and the Deathly Haggos. So yeah, looking forward to using those for something because I love them so much. Might even like use them as art in my house. Then we have Sadie stickers. We've got some journaling kits and I believe these are just single page journaling kits. Don't know how I will find them, but we'll see what happens. And, and they are in transparent matte. So you've got this one here, which is kind of a Moroccan theme. Academia, Autumn, Haunting, Spells, Happy Hour, Picnic, Beachfront, Wildflower, February 2022 Mystery, Fairies, and April 2022. So just a lot of journaling kits there to use in my planner. And similarly, I have a journaling kit from Sticker Guru as well. Lots of beautiful florals. They're very different from my normal journaling kits. So we'll see how I find them. And then last, but certainly last, not least, we have some non-sticker items. And then we've got, um, after that, we've got some mystery items. So still lots to go really. Um, but starting off with these from, oh, the name just popped into my head for like a second and then it's gone. But if you can remember the shop name, she lives really near Disney and releases loads of Disney things. But we have these two notebooks from her, both of course Disney themed. I will hopefully have put the name on the screen. And then from Rose Colored Days, we just have a selection of um, vellum sticky notes. So we've got these ones in gold foil, these blue ones in gold foil, these with hollow foil, those in gold foil, those in hollow foil, this one in hollow foil as well, and this one in hollow foil as well. So super happy with these. I do just use pencil on them or you can use a permanent marker. And yeah, so it's super cute, super lovely, really easy to use. And then the last thing I got was a planner. This is an Aura Estelle um, cloud. I am trying to store some of my planners a bit better. So yeah, this is probably gonna store like the other half of my year whilst I'm planning in it. And then I'll move them both in. So like have six months in each planner and then I'll move them onto like how I'm gonna store my planners long-term. So yeah, that is just a nice forest green Aura Estelle cloud. Now moving on to the mystery portion of the haul. We're gonna start with Oh Hello Phoenix Co. And we have three months of mysteries. I believe they are April, May, June, but I wouldn't quote on it. I was incorrect, they are May, June, July. So we're gonna start with May, but all three, May, June and July, Oh Hello Feelings, Sticker Club, spoilers coming up. So May's was this fruit themed. So you got this, um, you can always get a big sheet of stickers and then some die cuts. So they are the four die cuts that you've got. They are Bitter Lemon, Water Pear, O Bananas, and Feeling Peachy. And then these I also do just put in my die cuts as well. Then we have June, which was like a beach slash ice cream slash whatever theme. Um, so got five die cuts for this one. Oh no, I suppose they're a pair. I suppose that's probably why. So this is it. And you've got a bit of a bit flip and a bit flop and you are my sunshine then my sunshine here what a flip what a flop there <laughs> i super love the quotes she puts on things i think they're really cute and then july's was this reading theme as well which yeah reading as you've noticed is a hobbit of man so we have the i'd be if i'm honest i'd rather be reading and your feelings about this book are valid and then bookworm, uh, a book a day keeps the anxiety away and do not disturb, I'm reading. So super love all three of those. The book one is my favorite followed by the puns on the fruit. Sticking with die cut mysteries, we've got the last ever Strawberry Line Designs mystery die cut stickers. I'm so sad. And this is the April bookish die cuts. So we have, the book was better. My heart is full of books. If I can't bring my Kindle, I'm not going. And that has a holographic overlay. It's gonna go horribly right, but you can kinda see it there. Treat yourself and bookish. And I'm so happy to have got that, but I'm really sad that um, Strawberry Lamb Designs is closing. I get why she is and I totally get it. But yeah, it doesn't stop me being sad. 
Then, last mystery items. We have three months of the Planner Face mystery. So we've got May, June and July again. So if you do not want spoiling for the Planner Face mystery for May, June or July, click off this video now. Thank you for watching all that kind of jazz, but I will be spoiling it in three, two, one. Okay, so I get both the journaling and the full kit. So, bah, 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 bah. The journaling kit, you get a four page journaling kit. So this is the die cut you get as a little freebie. So you get the deco page, you get the, um, so these two pages make up a normal journaling kit. And then these two pages are extra and this is on washi paper. Um, so yeah, it's a really nice format. And this is like princess slash um, fairy tale themed without being like truly fairy tale, if that makes sense. So that's really cute. Looking forward to using that. And then this is the full kit version. Um, very peachy pinky colours but I think that works for this no idea what I'll ever use it for but you get what you get <laughs> um, I'm sure I'll work that out nearer the time as I've said before I do PR for planner phase use Tilly for 10% off here's the die cut that you also get as a freebie in the full kit version and then you have your extra skin tones and hair colours and then you get all of the add-ons included so you get the 15mm add-on the tall box add-on the glitter add-on, the box add-on, and then the mystery add-on, which has a double box, some different little bits and pieces, the scripts, icons, and things there. So that is Princess. Um, I'm waiting for a phone call that I was expecting to be around now. That hasn't happened, and I'm a bit like nervous. I've missed it, but I definitely haven't put my phone on loud. But yeah, um, that's it for the May mystery. Then next up we have May's, which is, uh, sorry, June's, which is based on Cat of Peace Plant Dot Plant Dot Loves Wedding, um, which Anna was a bridesmaid in, which is super cute, and that uh, Cat helps her with the da -da -da, helps her with the mystery. So yeah, super cute. Um, so this is the it has lots of features from Cat's Wedding in um, and stuff like that, which is very cute. Um, so that is the journaling kit. If I don't lose my die cut. Then we have the full kit. So again, we do have the die cut there. And then like this is like the, what the back of her dress looked like. This was the, yeah, it's just, it's basically like based on her wedding, etc. So it's super cute. And it's obviously green and yellow were her wedding colours. Got alternate skin tones. I love this sort of sign. And um, we had something similar in our wedding because yeah it was very different amounts of both and then you've got your bottom washi then you get a full extra eight boxes for different skin tones and stuff and then another eight boxes of different skin, skin tones hair color and then your glitter add-on so that is the june 2024 mystery wedding day oh sorry i am um, missed the box add-on and the mystery add-on so i believe this is the place where cat got married I'm really sad I couldn't go to Kat's wedding. I was invited, but um, I was in Florida at the time, unfortunately. But anyway, <laughs> sad times. Last but certainly not least, I have the July mystery kit. And this is like all aboard. It's like train themed, which is super cute. My nephew loves trains, so I might use it for his birthday. So you've got this little ticket die cut. And then this is your main bit of the journaling kit. And then your extra pages look like that. Very, very cute nice easy like flexible one to use any time but it's quite autumnal at the same time and then we have the full kit so you've got the train you've got the platform taking photos on platform ticket desk like journaling your journal journey um brunch on the train super cute love it i believe there may also be a snow box there's your die cut um bottom washi yeah there's a snow die cut um a snow one for if you want to use it for like polar express or something like that and um, but without being like polar express dress themed got tall boxes deco you've got alternate skin tones and hair colors so anna will include it even whether it's just like a little tiny bit of skin in it and you've got your glitter your boxes and then your like food on the train scene there and that is the last thing in this kit and the last thing for this haul 
Normally I would finish the video with a flat lay, but I'm not going to because it's just too much and I've sorted it all as I went along. But thank you for watching, comment, like down below, all that kind of jazz. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Thank you.